Hello YouTube. I found a trick with your new favorite toy. If you spin these and stare at a wall with the light on it and just keep staring, you can get geometric visual patterns. Why? Because consciousness is spinning at one frequency while these are spinning at another. Consciousness is between 20 and 60 hertz generally. And look at it, you could even tune this. See that that pattern? You can you can get all kinds of things. You can change, see now it's almost stopped. I can turn it the other way, get a new pattern. There's a lot of interesting things you can do. But consciousness in your brain is flickering. Probably not all at the same frequency either. Probably it's inconsistent. Like if there's pixels of vision, then there's probably, each pixel could be at a different speed even, and that can be the reason for sometimes people will get like visual static and stuff. Not necessarily though, I don't want to go that far with conjecture. Um, if you have seizures, don't do this, of course. Um, otherwise, I suggest doing it for 10 minutes straight, just stare at the wall. You'll start to see different colors, geometric patterns, and it will have lasting effects for at least an hour, and maybe up to a day of a hangover even. Uh, it depends. You might have an afterglow. Uh, maybe that's a better, better um, connotation. But, um, I found it has benefits for depression. It kind of wakes me up. It can cause anxiety. It, um, when I get up from wherever I'm doing it, like if I stand up right now, when I walk around, the things in my room look more three-dimensional than usual. Everything, I'm like, a uh, higher frame rate. And it depends on how long you do it. If you do it for 10 minutes, you're definitely going to get some effects. But you have to be careful. You can probably get effects on memory and stuff even, which that's when you don't want to do it, probably, I guess. I shouldn't be suggesting that. Hmm. It's also similar to the concept of detuned sounds. Uh, so, like, so, like, one one of these might be going at like 60 hertz and then the other one's going at let's say um, 5 hertz and then the speed that you see of this moving will be basically a 5 hertz spinning if that makes sense and you can do that with your brain though and I know with Alzheimer's you can actually treat it with strobe lights which is the same thing this is this is called stroboscopic visual effects and they would do it for an hour. A strobe light at 60 hertz would increase gamma frequency in the brain, which somehow, and I don't know how it works, but it induces the metabolism of beta amyloid proteins. So, but the catch is that it only worked for one day. <laughs> then everything went back to normal, so they would have to do it daily which is not very convenient, but I think it's still amazing. And I actually think it's the same mechanism as a lot of drugs will induce. But that's a different topic for a different day. Thank you, YouTube. Goodbye.